vehicles are spreading out all over Madison tonight to make sure our streets are cleared of any snow. Crews ramped up their operations 11 hours ago and could be working well into the night. Rose Schmidt joins us live from Madison's far west side with what you need to know. Rose? Yeah, so we are out here at 5 o'clock, and we told you that Willock Road here hadn't been plowed yet, but good news, just a few minutes ago, the plows have actually come through here, and now the road is plowed. So I think that's the best proof there is that if your street hasn't been plowed yet, don't worry, the plows are on their way. Have not seen any plows here. Just off Old Middleton Road, the side streets looked like this for much of the afternoon. The big problem is when you have to turn or when you get to an intersection. Susan Gettert's kids Anya and Daniel are enjoying a snow day. Her husband couldn't get to work today because of the weather, but Susan did have to leave the comfort of her warm house. I took the bus to campus so I could go to class because I'm a student, um, but they've just been hanging out at home watching the snowfall, waiting for the snow to stop so they can come out and play in it. Living on an unplowed street is a challenge, but Brian Johnson with Madison Streets Division says it won't stay that way for long. It just takes a long time to do citywide plowing. We started doing it around 7 a.m. It's kind of when the operations kicked off. It takes about 14 to 16 hours to plow our city. The two main challenges crews face today was as temperatures stay around the 20 degree mark, the salt they put out on the roads works slower, and the timing of the snowfall. This storm kind of lingered through the morning, so that means when our Plow trucks are out there, they're going to be interacting with all the other regular traffic that, that's out on the roads during the day, and that kind of slows our progress down. They prioritize streets with heavy traffic and places where emergency vehicles need to go. So, unfortunately, if your street hasn't been plowed yet, you'll just have to be patient. But it's just a residential street. It's not, it's not a super busy street, so not a big priority. Susan didn't plan on going anywhere until her street was cleared, but that may mean more time for fun. Looks like there is some board games inside. Whether you're on a bike or driving a car or some other means of transportation, know that you will likely come across roads covered in snow just like this one, and that will likely affect your drive tonight and tomorrow. So please be patient and go slowly. Be safe out there. Rose Schmidt reporting live for us in Madison. Rose, thank you.